Welcome to CGI Backgrounds. I'm Roberto Kaihegela, and I'm going to give you a short introduction to our Ray HDRI maps. They are calibrated to the directional light and environment light that they create to the third gray patch from the left on the Macbeth chart. So if you would load any of these HDRI maps into a 3D app and add a Macbeth chart into it and point the light towards the brightest light source, then you would always get a result on 160 RGB. This is of course depending on your graphic card, your monitor and your color space you're working on, but in general it produces a neutral gray. So any of these HDR domes I load here produce 160 RGB in my setup. It might be slightly different on yours, but you will have a very, very good starting point for a very color accurate environment to work with in 3D apps. And there might be a slight difference when you get one of our HDI maps that are shot at night. So these are not always matching up to 160 as they might have multiple light sources and these multiple light sources may have all a different uh, color balance. So that way it would be impossible to calibrate them all to the same value and to the same brightness. But they are all still set up in a way that they match to the environment, to the environment shadow, to the environment reflection and brightness of the things that are visible in the HDRI map. So we still calibrate them to one light source, but it might not match for every direction that you would point your car to or you would point your camera towards to. So here you see a few examples where we have the color chart always facing towards the brightest area. And you can see that the chart does not really change, but what you see is that the color of the shadow and the brightness of the shadow changes depending on the environment light that is created by the HDR map. Here you see some more samples where we show you the results without Ray HDR maps and with Ray HDR maps. So you see it has a huge impact on the look and feel of your environment and it gives you a very, very good starting point for your 3D visualization. In a second video, we are going to introduce a demo of how we utilize the Ray HDR maps in Unreal. So this is a screenshot from that demo that we're going to show. And it's an Audi as a 3D model and a 3D floor with Quixel mega scans. And in the background, you have one Ray HDR map that is for the visualization and for the lighting of the scene. No post-processing or any other tools used for the lighting and the look and feel of the scene. That was our short introduction to our Ray HDR maps and we will see you very soon. Thank you.